Lesson 17, Part 1D, the aorist middle imperative. First aorist middle imperative is third stem plus imperative B endings, just like we'd expect. And second aorist middle imperative is third stem plus epsilon plus imperative B endings, again, just like we would expect. No augment because it's not indicative. Uh, we have imperative endings, B endings because it's middle. No theme vowel for first aorist, theme vowel for second aorist. So it ends up looking like this, ege rai, ege rasto, ege raste, ege rasto san. To note, almost all aorist middle imperatives are deponent. Um, the few that aren't deponent are things that someone does to themselves. So the above example would be better translated as rise up, um, because the difference between rise and raise, raise you do to something else, rise is something that you do yourself. So rise up or raise yourself up. Um, but use this formula for parsing, but for, for actual translating, uh, try to smooth it out and make it make sense better in English. So summary, uh, first aorist middle imperative, third stem plus imperative B ending, second aorist middle imperative, third stem plus epsilon plus imperative B ending.